Deputy Craig Yost says he just finished singing to God when he heard her calling for help. The woman's granddaughter in tears as she told me how thankful she was that he never gave up. A heartwarming moment captured on dash cam. I'd ask God to lead me to her. Walton County Deputy Craig Yost carrying 95 year old Julia Goodman in his arms after finding her two miles from her Defuniac Springs home. Goodman trembling as Yost held her. She'd been missing for nearly 10 hours. We were really scared for her. Getting lost in the woods behind her house after hanging laundry Sunday morning. And she told me she said she fell several times and she couldn't get up and um, she was on her hands and knees crawling. The search becoming more dire as the hours passed. Goodman, a diabetic, needed her insulin. Night had fallen. It was cold and raining. Yost remained hopeful. This picture captured on a game camera helping the sheriff's office narrow their search area. The deputy praying, even singing to God. Windows down, shining his flashlight listening closely as he made his way down this beaten path. I was actually singing to God. It was just something short, something along the lines of help me locate her. And it was a few minutes later that I found her. I, I don't think that's coincidence. I, I absolutely believe that God gave her the strength to call out to me to, to come help her. Running for the voice in the woods. I get over to her and she tells me her address and tells me to take her home. And she said, give me my hat. Yes, ma'am. So this, she was worried about that hat. Put the hat on her head. She was a little shaky on her feet, so that was the point that I scooped her up. Yost believes the power of prayer is what led him to Goodman. Her family grateful for him and all of the deputies who never gave up. I don't mean to cry, but um, we hugged the officers and we thanked them. They did not give up. They kept looking for her. Now, Yo says he puts a lot on the Lord doing his job and he hasn't failed him since. He says saving Goodman was truly a team effort. In the studio, Marella Porter, Fox 10 News.